about this business just blew my mind. I swear to God, I used to think all I needed was a skill. High verse, catchy hook, dope look, then get a deal. I used to love the rock and sold out show just for the thrill until the real was revealed to my spirit like Jabril. I'm iconic. Nothing less than greatness in my catalog. I sit these pumps down like Rosa. Check my battle scars. Digital or analog. Treat the booth like a bathroom star. Spit the truth in any church, temple, shrine, or synagogue. Let's get it. Today, I'm praying that y'all come together. That's my goal of putting y'all together on this panel. So with that being said, I have no more questions. We're going to let you do your thing. And then after that, all the brothers on the manifest, they're going to go ahead and ask questions. And we're going to build from there. Thank okay. So, so first of all, what brings me into this discussion is I seen you do an interview with uh, a group called the Moorish American Government. And in seeing me, uh, seeing you bring uh, uh, the brothers from the Moorish American government on the platform, um, me being who I am, I'm looking at it and I'm saying that we got to stop putting out this foolishness to the public. And when I call foolishness, I don't mean in disrespect if that's your level of understanding of what your research has brought you to. But when I'm talking about foolishness, I'm talking about defining something by fables or defining things uh, uh, by hearsay or pass down stuff and dreams and visions. We got to stop that. One thing for sure and two things for certain is our people has been misled and fooled by dreams, fables, and all of that. So today, so today, We're going to dispel the myth. And I want to be careful because I know people are going to get sensitive. So you might see me pause, but I'm going, I got to keep it raw, but I, I don't mean no disrespect. All I want is the facts. Now, here we go. When we're talking about the Moorish American government, and I say this all the time, the first thing that we got to, ask ourselves, where did it come from? And why? What was the motivation? When you study the Moorish Science Temple of America, we are taught that the purpose of the Moorish Science Temple of America is to uplift fallen humanity. We know where it started, we know why, and we know that it was very intentful in the efforts to uplift our people. So anything that follows the Moorish Science Temple of America, or anything that follows the teachings of the prophet Noble Ali, one of the first things we have to ask ourselves is what is the intent? Where did it come from and why? I'm going to answer one first question in the chat. They say, will you unite? No, I will not unite with a lie. I won't answer any more questions after that. I will never unite with lies. No, I had to reconcile lies that I've been told. So I'm not going to unite with lies if I had to reconcile and make the proper adjustments to put my life in order from the lies that I was told. So I'm not uniting with nobody who accepting lies. With that being said, when you're talking about the Moorish American government, Right. And somebody talking about the flags. We're going to talk about the flags, too. Matter of fact, since somebody want to get smart in the chat, we will talk about the flags first. Since you want to get smart, correct the flags. Put that up there. Let me bang them in his head real quick. Let me shotgun them. Let me shotgun this clown. We will turn up the night. Let me shotgun them. I reloaded. Yeah, y'all will think it's a game. Y'all, I'm going to make you mad. That's what I'm going to do. So when we're talking about the flags, right? Someone said change the flags. However, however, let's see what the Prophet Noble Drew Ali say about the flags. All right, I'm about to screen share. In this article from the Moorish Guide that the Prophet Noble Drew Ali, from his newspaper, Prophet Noble Drew Ali makes a statement. And we're going to talk about this statement in a minute, as soon as I screen share. Here we go. 
Let me get this screen share on. All right, let me know when you're ready, family. You see this? This article right here me... is from Prophet Noble Drew Ali. All right. This article is from Prophet Noble Drew Ali. On Wednesday at 2 o'clock, more than 3,000 Moorish Americans in Moroccan costumes and each carrying the flags of the nation of their forefathers, which is the Moorish flag and the American flag on their right. Now, if you're walking and the American flag is on your right, and what is the position of the flags? Huh? What is the position of the flag if the American flag is on your right? This is written out the paper from Prophet Noble Drew Ali. What's the position? Talk to me. Just because you don't understand it doesn't make it wrong. You just don't understand it. You've been misled. If I got the Morris flag in my right, and this on my left, what is the position of the flag? Talk to me. You don't understand. That's all it is. You got a misunderstanding. You don't know why the prophet did what he did. But I can show you other evidence from clear pictures with the prophet in it, with the flags in the position that I hold the flags because I follow the prophet, orthodox Islamism. Anyway, the nation of their forefathers. And of course, we're going to get back to the flags. But let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get this right. I'm, I'm real aggressive. I'm real aggressive. But we'll calm it down for Sherry Bay. Let's get to the Moorish American government. How did the Moorish American government come into play? The Moorish American government came into play, unfortunately, the research. I mean, the research by the evidence, the Moorish American government came in play because Elihu Pleasant Bay, Nathaniel Pleasant Bay was ejected from the Moorish Science Temple of America Incorporated. If he was not exiled from the Moorish Science Temple of America Incorporated by Love L, then he would still be in the Morris Science Temple of America Incorporated, most likely. This is how the Moorish American government, under the leadership of what you may know as Akhenaten, under the leadership of what you may know as Akhenaten, Elihu Pleasant Bay, he could not return to the Morris Science Temple of America Incorporated and many of us, and many of us, many of us love the Prophet Noble Drali, but some of us still love the other stuff that we used to dwell in. And so many of us don't leave the Prophet. We just carry along things with us. And from my research, this was the case. Now, how was Elihu Pleasant Bay? How was Elihu Pleasant Bay? Or why was he exiled from the Morris Science Temple of America Incorporated? Let's keep it a buck. He was bringing prostitutes dressed in Moorish garbs in Lawton Prison. That's what he was doing. Now, he would come back and say, oh, they set me up. They got you on camera. They got you on camera. You can say they were setting you up all you want. They got you on camera. They got the sex acts on camera. This is the reason. This is the reason why Elihu Pleasant Bay was exiled for life. It's a fact. And when he came back around, the next thing he came with, with, was the Moorish American government. But the funny thing about it is, the way that he came with the Moorish American government, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a common story. Let me see if I can pull up this video real quick. 
It's a common story. Listen to this. Anybody have done any research will understand this story. Give me one second. Okay, now let's get back to Moses. After Moses received this stuff, he went there to see to be fulfilled. There has to be Hold up. Right, a simulation and the likeness of Prophet Moses. We know that Moses came one into the Can you hear? of who he was. And he went on a yeah, yeah, turn turn up just a little bit, fam. I'm gonna turn it all the way up in one second. Okay. I want you to listen to this. This is how this happened. And I want you to tell me if it sounds familiar. Hey, praise the Lord. Was communicated through the spirit of Prophet Nubu Drop. Stop right there. Here we go. His brother, brother, Arthur Fox, they said. We are a power that cannot. One second. I have brought you the general laws. Here we go. And later, I will reveal to you the supreme laws. Then he said, the morals will come into their own in the year 2000. Watch this. Now, in the year 2006, I believe it was the 2004. Our Grand National Chairman, Dr. Akhenaten Kurt M. Haru Tutankhamun Bey, praise Allah, was communicated through the spirit of Prophet Nubu Ali and brought forth the exhuming of the nation and came forth and established <laughs> the Moorish American government. Stop right there. You hear that? Sound familiar? That he was communicated through the spirit of Prophet Noble Drew Ali and came with the exhuming of the nation. What does that sound like? See, anybody who has studied know what that sound like. You know what that sound like? That's the European psychology. That's the European psychology of how Paul, how Paul came into power from Saul because he communicated to Jesus through the spirit. He communicated to Jesus on the, on the path to Damascus. He seen Jesus and Jesus said, why have you prosecuted me? So what Paul did, a Roman, he used that to gain influence over the followers of Jesus and then he flipped out and screwed the original teachers of Jesus. Let me tell you what else that sound like. Another European. Constantine. Constantine. He's supposed to be one who wasn't even religious. But in order to gain influence for his army, he said he was he was about to go to battle. And when he looked in the sky, he seen the cross. All of a sudden, he became religious. And he said, by this sign, you shall conquer. So everybody agreed with him. And they began to follow him. But in Roman, he was more about expanding the Roman Empire than expanding the teachings of Jesus. And so what we have here is the same thing. Prophet Noble Drew Ali put a system in place. The system cannot be broke. And so what happens is when people want to break the system, what they do is they begin to make up stories. They begin to make up fables that more that mere men would not challenge. But Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, I left my footprints clearly cut. So you can't make up stories with this one because we know what the prophet put down. We got proof. We got proof what the prophet put down. So now you can't say I'm resurrected and I'm in power. You can't say I seen him in a vision. Now I'm in power. You can't say, oh, I had a dream and now I'm in power. Nope. 
the divine prophet put down a divine program and there's a divine process in order for this to take place. And dreams and visions does not work in the movement that is divine. It just doesn't work. Now, with that being said, let's start. The reason why we must go back and look at, the reason why it's very important, we must look at the intent. We must look at the intent of person's actions because we're talking about salvation. And salvation is predicated upon not the spiritual or the religious salvation that you've been taught. It's predicated upon liberation. True salvation and liberation is one and the same. And so if you are proselytizing a false sense of liberation, then it should be addressed. And if no one wants to address it, then we stay in bondage. You know what I mean? Then we stay in bondage. So with that being said, what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to show the prophet's process, but I'm also going to disqualify some of the things that have been said. One of the things that I didn't like about the presentation, because I am a bona fide Moorish American, I follow the prophet to the letter. So one of the things that I didn't like about the presentation, I, held the, I heard the elder brother say that the prophet went to Egypt. They put him in a tomb and he got out. My question to the moderator of Lions Den, ask him to show and prove. Ask these people to show and prove this madness. How can you say something, but you don't bring facts in this day and time? If Prophet Noble Drew Ali, this is very important. Because if Prophet Noble Drew Ali went to Egypt, and he was locked inside of the pyramids and he came out between the paws of the sphinx of the sphinx then we need to see this do you got the boat ticket that he traveled on do you do you got something you see no you know what we still want to believe in santa claus we still want to believe in the easter bunny and we want to believe that Prophet Noble Drew Ali have to travel to Egypt to be confirmed a divine prophet. We want to believe these, these fairy tales. But my question to the moderator of Lions did, make these people prove what they talk about. Another problem that I had is when the brother come out and say, yeah, we're recognized by the uh, 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 we recognize by the uh, 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 UN. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. So number one, Prophet Noble Drew Ali, the evidence does not support that Prophet Noble Drew Ali ever traveled to Egypt. That's number one. The evidence doesn't support. There is no evidence to support besides word of mouth that Prophet Noble Drew Ali went to Saudi Arabia and was named Sharif Abdul Ali. Remember that book that the brother put up, The Exhumant of the Nation? He said, this is the greatest autobiography of Prophet Noble Drew Ali ever. See, they're going to get mad now because they know they can't prove this madness. They want to believe that Easter Bunny lay eggs. But in this day and time, our young, book, our young generation don't need to believe in Easter Bunnies. Nor do they need to believe in fantasies. The prophet is a prophet. He's a prophet. And we don't need to make up stories. So there is no evidence. I mean, there is no evidence that Prophet Noble Drew Ali went to Saudi Arabia. That's another fable. And got his name, Sharif Abdul Ali. In fact, that's not his name. Emphatically, that's not his name. I stand on it. How do I stand on it? Because there's no evidence to prove it. There is no evidence to prove it. These are stories. These are made up stories. And the reason why they're made up stories is because 
our people who the second generation after the prophet, the second generation after the prophet, they were lost. And so to verify he was a prophet, they had to make up stories, I guess, I would imagine the same way they made up stories about Jesus. Because these stories cannot be verified. Last, last made up story, and I'm gonna ring it back. I'm gonna bring it back. Come rewind. Prophet Noble Duali never went, and I say it with confidence, never went to the White House and asked anybody for a flag. See, I've been in the I've been in the Morris Science Temple of America a long time. See, I was in the Morris Science Temple of America when Pleasant Bay was bringing the sisters into Lawton. I was in the Morris Science Temple of America to some capacity when Pleasant Bay got caught up bringing them drugs into Lawton. See, I was I was in the Morris Science Temple of America in some capacity. I remember Pleasant Bay here in Baltimore. See, I remember these things. I remember all this stuff. This is not, I'm not reading this off the internet. I was here. You follow me? I was here. I didn't get this from the internet. I experienced it. I watched it unfold. So there's a difference between me and people talking about the internet. You know what I'm saying? But now, when people make up these stories, the last story, let me go back around. Prophet Noble Drew Ali, and it cannot be proven that Prophet Noble Drew Ali went to Egypt and was pushed into a pyramid and was came out at the paws of a sphinx. That's a made up story. That's in the book of supposed to be the greatest biography about Prophet Noble Drew Ali. That's a made up story. Secondly, Prophet Noble Drew Ali never, he never said it. It was never reported out of his mouth or anything that he wrote that he went to Washington. Now, man, that he went to Washington. Somebody say show proof. There is no proof that the prophet did any of these things. It's made up. It's made up. Everything that I'm going to show, I'm going to show proof in a minute. These things are made up. Lastly, again, Prophet Noble Drew Ali was never given the name Sharif Abdul Ali by uh, somebody in Saudi Arabia. These stories are made up. There is no evidence to prove it. There is nothing, nothing. They're made up stories. I remember when the story about Prophet Noble Drew Ali going to Woodrow Wilson and the uh, uh, Woodrow Wilson uh, supposed to have gave Prophet Noble Drew Ali the flag. Well, when the story first came to surface, they had to change the story because they had the dates wrong. Woodrow Wilson wasn't even a president at the time. They had to change it up. You know what I'm saying? So last but not least, for these dimwits asking for receipts, I'm telling you, there is no proof. It's the burden is not on me. I did not say Prophet Noble Drew Ali went to um, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. I didn't say that. These are the fables. That will be like me, son. That'll be like you asking me to prove that Santa Claus is not real. That's a dumb request. Don't ask me to prove you Santa Claus is not real. Prove me that he is real. You the one made the statement. You made the statement, not me. See, I'm hurting feelings tonight, so they're going to talk crazy. So let's get into what we need to talk about now. And we're going to calm it down. So with that being said, family, let's get into it. We're going to get, in we're going to get into contradictions of the conversation. First of all, the Moorish American government is a made-up pseudo-government under the name Moorish. In fact, there are quite a few of them. You have the Moorish American Republic that claims to be a government. And this Moorish American Republic here is quite a few Moorish American republics. These all claims to be governments. I want you to understand, they all claim to be governments. You got the Moorish American Republic here. You have the Moorish National Republic here. You have the Moorish National Republic federal government. You understand? 
and you have the United States of America Republic National Government. What do all of them have in common? Common. All of them have something in common. All of them believe that Prophet Noble Ali has spoken their heart to create a government. Each and every one of them. That's what they believe. They believe that it's incumbent upon them to formulate a government. Well, I say if you want to formulate a government, go formulate the government. But let's not imply that Prophet Noble Drew Ali said that to you. You see what I'm saying? Let's not imply. Because Prophet Noble Drew Ali did not say that. He did not say that. And I'm going to show and prove what Prophet Noble Drali said. I can't show and prove what they're saying, but I can show you what the Prophet Noble Drali said. So first point, when we're talking about the flags, in this dream that Elihu Pleasant Bay said he had, he also said the Prophet Noble Drali told him to make a flag. And this flag that Prophet Noble Drew Ali told him to make? One second. He said, this is the Moorish flag. He said, this flag on the left is the Moorish flag. See this? This one on the left. He said he had a dream and Prophet Noble Drew Ali told him to create the Moorish flag. And in fact, he comes back and says, and, 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 and I can pull it up if necessary. He comes back and says that not only is this the Moorish flag, this is, his, this is his words, but this here is the Moroccan flag. This is what he says. All right, now, if that's the case, let's go back to this article. Go back to this article. On Wednesday at 2 o'clock, bring it on down. The Moorish Americans in Moroccan costumes. And each carrying the flag of the nation of their forefathers, which is the Moorish flag and the American flag. Now, I want to pay attention. I want you to pay attention. In Prophet Noble Drew Ali's paper that he was the editor of, that he owned his paper, it makes a distinction between Moroccan costumes and a Moorish flag. If the flag was a Moroccan flag, then why would the Prophet Noble Drew Ali or the article writer use Moorish flag? And then to go a step farther, further, the question is asked, what kind of flag is the Moorish? It is a red flag with a five-pointed green star in the center. This is that flag. This is not that flag. This is just the bottom line. So, but now, Pleasant Bay say in his dream, God told him or the prophet told him to create the Moorish flag. And this is the Moroccan flag. If that's the case, then why would the prophet Noble Drali give a description of the Moorish flag of what I'm showing you. He gave you the description of the Moorish flag. Well, I can tell you this, that the Moorish flag predates the Moroccan government. That's why it's a Moorish flag. It's not the Moroccan state flag. They took it, re they took it, remixed it, and made it their own, but it predates the Moroccan state and the country. However, He said that he, in a dream, 
was told to make the Moorish flag. And this is the Moroccan flag. That's blatantly in opposition of the divine teachers of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Again, clearly it says what kind of flag is the Moorish? Clearly, this is not something I'm making up. Clearly, it is a red flag. So, so, so when you're talking about a divine prophet and someone had the audacity to say that I had a dream and this is the Moorish flag and this is not in the Moroccan flag and total opposition of what the prophet taught, now you're tripping. And somebody should speak out. Secondly, in that dream, he said that Prophet Noble Drali told him to create a government. In this dream now, he's supposed to create this government, right? So now what he does is he takes the divine constitution and bylaws and just remixes it. The divine, the more science tip of America, divine constitution and bylaws. He remixes it and call it the divine constitution of Moorish America. That's what he do. And if you read the two documents, the only thing that he does is take out the grand sheik and the chairman of the Moorish Science Temple of America, the grand sheik and chairman of Moorish America. He remixes it. Now, that is pseudo at its height. That is pseudo at, 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 at all, on all levels. You know what I mean? On all levels. On all levels, that is pseudo. So at the end of the day, I am the one to make sure that the new generation don't come in believing this pseudo nonsense. It, it's pseudo nonsense. People will get mad. They'll get over it. But it is pseudo nonsense. Again, let's go back real quick to, if I may, <laughs> let me go back real quick to uh, a video real quick. Well, let me say this. About this business just blew my mind. I swear to God, I used to think. All I needed was a skill, high verse, catchy hook, dope look, then get a deal. I used to love the rock and sold out show, just for the thrill, until the real was revealed to my spirit like Jabril, I'm iconic. Nothing less than greatness in my catalog, I sit these pump down like Rosa, check my battle scars, digital or analog, treat the booth like a bathroom stall, spit the truth in any church, temple, shrine, or synagogue, let's get it.